The NFL preseason is already underway, but in just a couple of weeks, these games will start counting. And tonight, the Lions are in Houston gearing up for their contest against the Texans on Saturday. Justin Rose has more on what the Lions are changing up going into this weekend's game. Justin. Well, the Lions certainly weren't too happy about their first preseason game performance, but got to remember it is just the preseason. None of the starters really even played. Now that could change this weekend as the Texans are hosting the Lions for their second week of the preseason slate. The regular starters might get some live reps on Saturday or they may not. It's up to the coaches and the reps they'll be getting the rest of this week leading up to that game could also determine that they played today. As you can tell down in Houston, the Lions defense was stout against Deshaun Watson and that Texans offense. But before the team got on the plane, Brad Galley talked one on one with quarterback Matthew Stafford entering his 11th season about the new and unique challenges he'll face this season with Detroit. What has made it so special about living here and, and really diving in head first each and every year? Um, you know, I tell people this all the time, but when I was 18, if you'd have told me I was going to spend 10, 11 years now in Detroit, I'd have told you you're crazy. You know, uh, I never thought about the city and then I got drafted here and, uh, you know, fell in love with it. I love being here. The people here have always been great to me. Um, you know, they're a, they're a thirsty, you know, group of fans that just want us to win and uh, I understand that uh, you know we got to give it to them and, and uh, we work extremely hard to try and produce that product and, and as far as off the field stuff I mean it's a city that I kind of came in in 2009 and saw it at you know one of its lower points and, yeah. and uh, I've seen it uh, develop into this you know kind of hidden gem um, which is which is pretty awesome to see and it's fun to be a part of that. You and, and Kelly and, and your family have been through so much this offseason and, and it's been well documented to just adapting to a new offense balancing family life. What has it been like now just diving in head first in, in all of football in, in this month and last month? Oh, it's been great. You know, I love playing this game. Uh, I love, uh, you know, being out there with the guys in the locker room, all that kind of stuff is, is, is a whole bunch of fun for me. And it was honestly a fun challenge to learn a new offense for me, something that I really kind of tried to spearhead and make sure that, you know, I was, uh, I was doing everything I can to be a coach on the field for these guys. And, and uh, it's, it's been a fun process. We see your excitement when, when things go well in practice out there. And we've seen your personality too on bigger stages. I remember the, the Monday Night Football clip where you're doing the Ray Lewis dance. Mm -hmm. I know some fans in town wonder, you know, where is that out of the quarterback? And guys go, oh, we, we see it. Yeah. It's just maybe not for everybody in the open eyes. When does that come out in you? And does does maybe that come out more when the wins start to pile up? I think so. You know, the more successful you are, the the more fun it is. You know, uh, this game's about winning. And uh, as long as we do that, uh, I'll have a bunch of fun. Um, you know, fight tooth and nail for wins. And and. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm myself around these guys as much as I can be, um, but that's not for everybody. That's the reason we're a team, and, and uh, not everybody's on it. So that being said, a lot of dancing this year? <laughs> I hope so. Shoot, I'll, uh, I'll dance if we're winning. I'm you know, throwing a bunch of touchdowns. That'd be great. Yeah, now Stafford knows he didn't have the season he would have liked last year, but he's rebounded from bad seasons before, and of course, as you saw there, he's hoping to do so again.